Now that our enemies are able to move around the island and, and try to attack the player, uh, we're going to set up the, the stuff we need to make it so our player can attack them back. And to start, what we need to do is create a, a script that will hold information about the NPC's health. So similar to how we did with our NPC script, what we're going to do is open our assets folder. We're going to go to tech ability, NPCs, and we're going to select both our dungeon skeleton and our normal skeleton. And again, we're going to click add component, but this time we're going to type NPC underscore health. Hit enter and then create an add. And that's going to add a new script to both of those prefabs. And again, updating our guys in the scene to contain this NPC health script. What we then want to do is go back to our assets folder and move NPC health into resources. Once we have NPC health and resources, we can go ahead and open that up. And it's going to be an empty script, uh, which is exactly what we want. What we can go ahead and do is delete update because we're not going to be making use of that. And then what we can say at the top is click inside our curly brackets, hit the enter button a couple times and say public int health equals 100. And that's going to help us out a little bit there. We're also going to go up to the top here uh, outside of our class and we're going to say using unityengine.ui and that's going to give us access to some of the UI objects that we're going to later attach to our player prefab or our, our NPC prefabs. So now that we've got that in place we're then going to go into our start method and say get component in children slider and then open and close parentheses dot value is equal to health we're also going to say get component in children dot text and then open close parentheses dot text equals health dot to string and that's because uh, our text ui cannot hold values that are in numbers we have to actually convert the number to a string in order for that to show up properly in that ui element um, next we're going to drop down below a little bit and we're going to say public void take damage open and close parentheses but we're going to, inside the parentheses we're going to put integer damage and that means that we can pass this this function of a number value and that will be uh, able to be utilized throughout the code here then we'll say health is equal to health minus damage and then press enter a couple times and say get component in children slider and open and close parentheses dot value is equal to health. <coughs> and we're even going to take a shortcut here and just copy and paste the text line and drop it right there. So highlight it, command C or control C, and then drop it down here and say command C or command V or control V. No, update that properly. And then finally, what we're going to do is put a conditional here that says if health is less than or equal to zero. So if our health has dropped below zero or is at zero and we want to kill our enemy, we're going to say destroy parentheses game object with a lowercase g, not a capital G, and then comma 0.5f. And what that means is that we're going to destroy the game object associated with this script. Typing game object just by itself with a lowercase g references the game object the script is attached to. We're going to destroy that in half a second. So we're going to have a little bit of a delay, about a half second delay, so we can recognize that we did enough damage, and then it's going to destroy our NPC. Once we've got all that finished up, we can go ahead and save and move on to the next step.